All right, how's everybody doing? Uh, we finally figured out, well, I kind of knew it was that, but I didn't think it was in this bad of a shape, but the head of leak is uh, pretty much is what it is. I'm going to put the same gaskets in. I've had good luck with them. This one actually lasted quite a bit. So um, we're going to double it up, though. I'm just going to use this doubled up on one side. We're going to install it, start them up, and uh, see how she sounds. Hopefully it'll be quiet. I won't have that popping sound. And um, coffin vacuum canisters back. Uh, sent it back out. I asked him if he could. He ever so kind. And weld the bung in so I can put a vacuum gauge on this. So now what I do is once I have this installed, I gotta make the bracket for it still. I can actually work on the cob and look at this gauge. It's not a master gauge, but at least it'll, it'll give me an idea of how high a vacuum I'm getting out of that cob. So um, we have that, but we have to make the bracket for it. In order for me to make the bracket, I have to move this car out of the garage so I can get the sheet metal that's behind the toolboxes. And it's a whole series of things I have to do to get at that sheet metal. And I also have to put brakes on the Murano because they're squealing and um, you got to keep your daily drivers happy. So we're going to put this uh, gasket back on and see how it sounds. And then uh, I'll bring you back when I have more to show. Okay. We dug a piece of sheet metal out behind the, the toolboxes. I didn't have to bring the whole thing out. All I needed was just this little piece. So uh, it's almost a, it's not quite a four by eight sheet back there now, but it's pretty substantial. And to rip that thing out behind those boxes is a, it's, is a tough, we're gonna call it. So we're gonna use this little piece of sheet metal that I got here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just gonna take a marker and I'm gonna try to scribe the sides here just to get the footprint of the coffin. I'm not gonna go all the way up to the top half of the coffin. I'm just gonna catch the top, these two top um, mountain pads. So I know for a fact that this has to fold back. So let's put this thing where it's not gonna get ruined. So now I have to establish whether I'm going to come square back I'll come out a little further and around. I had a cardboard template rip, drawn up on how I wanted this, and I lost it. So uh, what I got to do now is I got to try to figure out how I'm going to do this and remain inside that little that little uh, little platform there where the uh, fender well is. Kind of little flat spots beneath the battery tray on one side and i think just the washer bottle sits on it's actually nothing sits there it's wide open there is a washer bottle that goes on the fender well but nothing sits on that little deck so uh i don't know i'm gonna go no rhyme or reason with this we're just gonna take this and i don't know 
find the mid midpoint of this and make this radius here and find the midpoint of this it's gonna let it flow but I think I'm gonna do a, a cardboard template um, yeah this is not gonna it's not gonna end well I need this spot though I need this but this I gotta do something different all right so we're gonna try to make a cardboard template and I'll bring you back if I got something to show All right, I bent it on my little brake that I had over there. I didn't film. I just got busy going with it. Um, the angle of the dangle is the angle of the dangle. I might have to change it a little bit more, get it to close up a little bit more. But right now, I'm trying to get the mountain hole drilled. Uh, let's see. I just got to get a drill bit that accommodates uh, 5 sixteenths. Go a little bigger. It's more than enough. Once again, this is 16 gauge metal. This stuff is hard too, man. It's cold rolled, but it's it's hard. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Even with the freaking prick punch.
Alright. I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna have to trim this. I'm gonna have to trim a little bit off of this. So I'm what I'm gonna do is just grab a mock and I'll just cut it slowly. But uh pretty much what we're looking at, that's gonna sit on the fender well and that's gonna boom like that. Like that. So like I say, this might have to go down further. This will actually get like this. This might have to come down like this a little further. But essentially, that's what it, that's what we're going for. We're going for. And I might do multiple holes. I might even set this down even lower. I might even go past. That way, I can get a. So I'll drill. I'll drill multiple holes and I'll trim the backside of this a little bit. But this is getting kind of late. Just did the brakes in the Murano, had a gasket on the Camaro, and I started working on the bracket. So that's my little update for, uh, for, uh, what day is it today? It's Tuesday. And, um, we're getting there. So, also, I have, uh, I dig out the rest of my Nick Cad brake line that I got there, Nick Copper. I hope I have enough. It's going to be close. Um. And I got to get the rubber hose at the block that goes there. We're going to run the brake lines. We're going to put in the bearings and the seals. And for now, we're going to use this cover until I can save up some pennies to get the trick flow on. But uh, this is Mark from the second gen. Uh, we're getting some work done. Slowly chipping at it. Be well, be safe, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one. Peace.